So one of the things that uh, I loved about being actually at Berkeley was meeting the people from all around the world. You were forever meeting someone that played an instrument you'd never heard of or never seen in real life, and playing in a language you'd never heard before. And it's such a great place for that type of experimentation. You, suddenly there's a guy playing vibes down there, and then another guy has an oud, which you've never seen, and then you've got your guitar and a bass player shows up, and you're making music together. And it shows you so instantly that music is this force that doesn't care about borders or politics or anything at all. It cares about music and you could put people in a room together that speak the language of music, whatever their personal dialect is, they can play together, they can make music together and it's just inspiring. It has obvious parallels to the types of experimentation you might do as a film composer but even without that there's a joy in just being with great musicians and especially ones who do something you can't do or can't do yet or maybe you'll never be able to do it. This is how musical friendships grow and, and blossom, and it, that's a great thing. And it's really difficult to think of a place where that happens besides Berkeley. There's so many people coming from so many places. And it, that, that's a true joy of the college. It certainly was something that I gained a lot from personally while I was there. Also important was just by the time I came out to Los Angeles, ready to start my film scoring career. I knew how to write music, and nobody ever asked me if I knew how to write music. I was just suddenly in this world where I needed to know that. So I met plenty of people and worked with plenty of people who didn't and still don't know that I went to Berkeley. That wasn't the issue. What helped me was the education that I already got from Berkeley. So by the time I started to get these little assignments or you know little opportunities to write music here and there, I already knew what to do. I knew how to do it and I had a certain confidence about it, which was certainly beneficial to me. And then I could write music and make the most out of whatever that little tiny opportunity was. So often in Hollywood you hear stories of overnight success, but it's almost never really accurate. What actually happens is if you can't get your foot in the door, you get a toe. And if you can't get your toe in the door, you get your toenail in the door. And if you can wiggle it in just a little bit and make a reason for you to get to stay there, then these are how people sort of get their careers going. And it looks so, from a distance, like it happened overnight, but almost inevitably a series of very small incremental breaks, little, little bit by bit sort of climbing up the ladder, and you can't do that unless you have a foundation to build on to begin with. So I just knew that once I could get my toe in the door, I had an education and a confidence to know that I would have something to say right away.